All right, in this video, we're going to talk about just the, the how to enter a cash over in short when you're entering your daily sales receipts. So when you create your daily sales receipt, you know, you come in here, say daily sales summary. We have our total non-taxable sales of 15, 1508. We have our total taxable sales of 14829.36. Okay. Then we have our Amex payment of $10,000. And we have our MasterCard and Visa payment of $7,000. And then we have our cash payment here of, let's say, $550. Okay, so that leaves us with a total that we have $26. It's, keep calculating, it's calculating our total for us over there. So that leaves us with the total that we are off by $26.29. Love to see that be negative because that means you have too much cash, more than you expected. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and put it to over short. Okay. So if I save this, I'm going to say 26.29. We want that total to come out to zero. All right. So let me go ahead in here and run a profit and loss standard before I save this. And we're going to do it for just 12.15. All right, so right now over and short isn't on here. Uh, we have it as a contra income account, or I say contra income, it's an income account, but most of the time it's going to be running as a negative, right? So I'm going to go ahead and save this now. All right, and when we refresh, oh, there it is. There's over and short right there, so we have some extra income at this point, $26.29 more in income, wasn't accounted for, but somehow it ended up in our bank account. We'll take it. Okay. Then, oops, I'm actually going to leave that open. So then if I come back in here, let's say that instead of $550, we received 520, I'm, let me delete this line item here, $525.36. That means that we Oops, we didn't, that's still too much. $505.36. $205. Okay. There we go. Now we have our over and short as $18.35. Okay. We want to make sure that we put that as a negative because we're actually short on this one. And now when I save this, we go look at our profit and loss. Now we have a negative 1835 instead of that positive. Okay, so you can run them through the same account. Sometimes people like to separate them out as over and short and then net it out together. But there's really no reason to do it um, separately like that because uh, it's you, you, you really just want to know over time what's your total gain or loss in your over and short account. Okay, so that's how you handle over and short in QuickBooks Financial.